$10 million in counterfeit goods seized in just one day. The NYPD says its crackdown comes as vendors are ramping up for the holiday season. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas shows us what officers found. Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga, Chanel. This is not the latest shipment to Fifth Avenue. The NYPD says you're looking at three truckloads of counterfeit luxury goods confiscated along Canal Street Monday. During the holidays, Activities such as this will increase. At a news conference, police said they arrested 17 people for selling fakes, from flashy watches to sunglasses. There's layers of victims when you look at this. I mean, a lot of people, there are people out here who are buying these bags thinking they're real when they're not real. The department says they were responding to complaints from people living along Canal Street and the manufacturers of actual luxury merchandise. MD Lascar, who runs a gift shop on Canal Street, says people are often frustrated by counterfeit vendors taking up too much sidewalk space. They will have no space to walk even though, you know. He also feels the vendors may be hurting his gift shop business. Nonetheless, he sympathizes with them. This is small business people. They have a family. They are surviving themselves. And you guys coming and taking their stuff. At the news conference, the NYPD said they want to work with people to make sure they're selling merchandise legally and they're planning an outreach effort to educate vendors. And tell them how they can get their license the right way. To help avoid what they saw Monday. The sidewalks were blocked, there was property everywhere, merchandise everywhere. Police say they teamed with a specialist contracted by fashion brands to help identify fakes. As for holiday shoppers worried about getting scammed, experts say if a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. And the fakes are being sold far beyond Canal Street. Shoppers also say they've seen counterfeits from street vendors on Fifth Avenue recently. I'm not a fan of it, but uh, it doesn't surprise me to see it. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.